They can do their yoga right in front of the bleachers and get stared at. Front row seats. That's what everyone <laughs> wants. <laughs> Hello, architects, and welcome to the very first Person Architect 2 live stream. Today, we're going to give you a first look and show you around the game. I am your community manager, Michaela, and with me, I have our community ambassador that you might know from the forums and from Discord, Rose. So let's dive in. Yes, so we have a lovely little starter uh, prison here that I built. We've got some solitary on the roof. It's very bare bones. We're going to outfit our prison, fulfill our contracts over here, and just build, have a good time, and let y'all see the game. And let's go with our warden, which of course we're gonna give our warden our biggest office. And then we're gonna hop over to staff, admin, and hire ourselves a warden. We got Ricardo Gilmore. There's his bus way down there. Holding cells only get used if you have more inmates than you have cells, which we can control that. But it's always just a good idea to have one because maybe you're tearing down a cell because you're gonna go build something else or you took away someone's bed because you're gonna upgrade the bed to a bunk bed and they have nowhere to sleep that night so they can go stay in the holding cell. But we're working on the holding in the shower now and you also see that there's a water notification above our toilet or our sink over here. And then there's the power notifications. This is just to let you know, hey, we're not connected. So just like in Prison Architect 1, the basics of every that every cell needs is a bed and then our lovely metal toilet, which has a little sink in the top. And we could go for the really terrible mattress here, which slightly satisfies comfort, but we're gonna go with the regular bed, which just satisfies comfort need. One big difference that you may notice if you've played a lot of Prison Architect 1, is that the cells are bigger. So in Prison Architect 1, I don't know if you know Michaela, the basic cell size is a two by three. Oh. And with the removal of room requirement sizes, you can make it a one by three. It, it's very cramps, <laughs> very cramps. But here, the basic room size is a three by four because the beds are bigger. They take up a two by three and then the toilet is a one by one. And also because they are 3D, they do need to be able to reach everything. You see the little little meeple icons next to the bed? That means an inmate has to be able to reach one of those to be able to get in the bed. So there's no confusion about, oh, can they reach this? Can they not reach this? So like if we want to go put bleachers in our yard, which the yard isn't required to have anything. It can be completely empty if you want. But if you want to put some bleachers in, you can see that they can access it from a pretty wide area around. We're going to come on to enrichment here, which is a whole nother tab. All we have access to right now is exercise bars, and then we can give them some gym mats to do some yoga. And here, they can do their yoga right in front of the bleachers and get stared at. Front row seats. That's what <laughs> everyone wants. <laughs> How do we unlock more items? If we go to administration here, we see nice. our bureaucracy. We have our main ones here, which we have done things like build an office and hire a warden. We get XP and we get cash. And plus we're gonna get a new milestone contract here. So if we look here right now, there's no milestones. There's no repeatable contracts. But if we unlock these, now we have a milestone. We get to 30 staff, we're gonna get 500 XP and 1K. But if we go here to bureaucracy, we can unlock and we can see down here in the bottom left that we have two points. And our next one is only 51 XP away. So as soon as we unlock one of these, we're going to finish this contract and get another 200 XP and get a whole nother point to unlock something else in the bureaucracy. But we're gonna go, I think, big business and cooking the books. And then if we hop back over here to contracts, main, claim bureaucracy tendencies, we go back, we have a whole nother point. We're gonna go ahead and grab security. And if you notice by unlocking security and unlocking, um, big business, we now have two more here that want us to build an office, hire an accountant, and then let the accountant claim their office. We're gonna come over here to our two empty offices I and see fill some them up. questions as well in the chat. Someone's been asking how high can we build? So currently we can only build on two floors, the ground floor and the first floor, but we also do have a rooftop access right now. So you can put stuff on this rooftop and your inmates will interact with it. You can actually even build fences on the second rooftop. So see, I can build a fence up here, but I cannot build actual building up there. You can see this is our building area here and then all the extra land we can purchase. This is one of the smaller maps if you watch the short that I created showing off the different maps. We do need to fill up our offices here. We're gonna put an office desk instead of a warden desk, which if you notice one thing, the office desk has a computer on it. And so it actually needs power. A warden's desk does not. Oh, I didn't actually notice that before. And while we're doing that, I'm going to go and drop lights everywhere. 
we have two start types of lights to begin with. We have ceiling lights, which are these round little guys. They also kind of give off interrogation vibes. <laughs> <laughs> And then we have our longer strip lights. Next up, we're going to run power real fast. So we have our utilities. You'll notice there's one extra thing that's not unlocked yet, small pipes, and then fuse boxes. We're gonna start with electricity. We're gonna grab our cables. It's very much like Prison Architect 1. One thing also is you notice outdoor items, outdoor lights do need electricity now. So- Oh, was that not the case in, the, in Prison Architect Nope, 1. they just magically worked. Ooh. But now you're wondering probably how do we get our electricity upstairs? I do actually. How do we do it? <laughs> um, we click our cable column here, which if you build it out here, it'll actually build like a special column, but I typically find it easier to build it in a wall that's already there, unless I want a special com column to be built. Yeah, that was something that I wasn't prepared for the first time I played the game. Uh, and I just had random columns standing everywhere. And <laughs> I was so confused of what it was uh, until I realized that, oh, it's the cable management. <laughs> And then just to finish getting it up, now that it's up upstairs, you build it as if that's the start of the power plant. Um, so I just popped upstairs, I place my cable there, and go off of it on either direction. Should we put lights in solitary? I feel like that would be nice. If I was put in solitary, at least I would want some lights. Are you sure? <laughs> Maybe I just wanted it to be dark at all times, to be like it is in Sweden during winter. And we're gonna go run our water pipes, which work basically the same way. I know there have been some complaints about the fact that you don't actually have to hook up pipes directly to items. My own personal view of it is the fact that these pipes are the ones that we see. There's still little teeny tiny pipes that are just not shown in game because it's not a pipe building game. It's a prison building game. And then to go up, we do the same thing, the pipe column. You really don't want to place it in a doorway, though you can. It'll just delete the door. And if you want to go over here to info views, you can easily see just power and water and what they've built, what they haven't built yet. I do oh, like it yeah. how it's looking like they're just hammering on the grass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the fluffy, fluffy grass. Yes. It looks like piping on cupcakes and it makes me a little bit hungry. <laughs> we have our notifications up here. 28 objects require water. 11 objects require power. A canteen has no kitchen. We also have this issue of a room is not secure. And if we come over here and click on our security, we have a lot of not secure. We have one room that is secure. <laughs> and that's because the barred doors are automatically locked. The regular doors, which I've used a lot of, when the fence gates are not. So we're gonna have to go through and click on them all and fix that. And that's pretty easy. Uh, we just click requires key. Uh, we're gonna intake eight inmates. Oh, we're Should taking we do a mix. Media? Yes, we're gonna take some oh. in, in an hour at 9 a.m. Yeah, let's take, let's take a mix. I think that sounds fun. See what happens. All right, we'll do six and two, the classic. Nice. Save changes. See, now they're arriving in 54 minutes. We um, got some inmates. They're being they, escorted. They look so cute. How's the schedule looking for the inmates? What are they doing right now? That, they have a lot of yard time. We're gonna adjust the schedule a bit. So what are the different things um, you can have in, uh, in your regime and for during your days? What can the inmates do when it goes through So that? you can have cell time where they have to stay locked up in their cell. They can have yard time where they have to stay here in the yard. They have shower time where they have to go take a shower, whether the shower's in their cell or it's in a shower room. Then there's meal time where they go eat, sleep, where they're back in their cell to sleep, and free time where they can do whatever they want as long as they're not entering staff areas. I love how they're just like, what mischief can I get into? Oh, they're all, the oh. workers are waiting for oh. <laughs> Yes, they're waiting for a guard. Here comes a guard. We should probably check. We have what? four guards. Oh, four. We have four guards. Overworked guards. No. <laughs> they love this. We look here. We finished one of our first milestones. 200k prison value. Way. And we have three more unlocks here. So I'm going to grab intelligence. I think we're also going to go over here for cheap materials because we're at eight out of 10 minute inmates. We're going to need some more cells. And then what do you think? We should go for some well-being. Yeah. Let us see their needs. Yeah. I see a question. Okay. Why don't workers have keys? Uh, can you do staff doors? So with the staff key policy, you can go here and it's it's in here, which we can't see yet because we haven't unlocked it. And you get to pick who gets keys, who doesn't. And we can do deployments. I think we're going to put a guard here, put a yeah. guard here. Maybe put so it by, we'll the, just... by the yard, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we'll put one in the yard. Once we can do patrols, it's a little, you have more finesse and control. 
So what but, what does that do when we put the guards like that? They just go there and sit around or? Yes, they wander through there. They'll open doors. They'll watch for troublemakers. So see, we have a guard assigned here so we won't get these huge pileups of staff. And there is no contraband, which if we want to go look here, we can see our contraband risks. What they can steal here, a spoon, a fork, a knife, a spatula. Spatulas are very nice, like everyone knows. <laughs> they can steal snacks from the prep surface. They could steal a club from the tree. <laughs> we come back over here, our offices, clipboards, magazines, books, keys, mobile phones, booze. I feel like our admins are taking their job. Yes, Not I, I got to wonder at our admins, <laughs> like on the job, keeping booze in their desk. <laughs> so we do have another contract, hire guards. We want to set ourselves to minimum, medium security, but we only have six inmates. So we really don't want to do that yet. If we yes. do that, then our two minimum security inmates won't have room. So we're going to go throw some of our money over here at security. And our first object we can buy is a metal detector. I think the kitchen is a good thing to track. It's all of those spatulas. We would just mm -hmm. want to find all the spatulas before they get back to, to their cells. <laughs> we can also see punishments now, by the way. Ooh. Yeah, and let's go through that a bit. This. So with punishments, there's the ones that have already just been set by double 11. You can choose lax, you can choose lenience, all the way up to extreme where they murder someone, they're in solitary confinement for four days. If you go to lax, they murder someone, they're in solitary confinement for 12 hours. We're just gonna leave it as balanced, but let's build some more cells. So I could go and individually build each cell again, like I just did, but I'm gonna clone it. Oh, I could also go in quick build and place so There are way. a few things that you can do yes. in quick build, but you could also yes. just clone it yourself. If you love your own design more than you love our quick build design, then just go ahead and use that. <laughs> so we're going to place it here. Actually, that does not count as a wall. We're going to undo. Don't delete that. Undo <laughs> is beautiful. We're going to tell them to build this first. wall first. So when they delete that wall, there's not a hole <laughs> for our inmates to go running out of. And you see our uh, inmates had two hours to eat. They're all done now. Granted, the time they take to eat does depend on how far they have to walk to get to their food. So let's go back here to construction. Clone. <laughs> oh, this inmate's being searched. They did uh -oh. something. And if you notice here, we have our pipe going up because it copies utilities. We just have to connect these utilities to our other ones. If you don't want to think about water or electricity, um, you can actually turn turn that off, that it's always yes. on magically uh, in the mutators. <laughs> <laughs> There's a number of them. One fair warning, though, that they tell you here is turning on these mutators turns off your ability to get achievements. So if achievements are important to you, choose wisely with your mutators. So we're going to clone our upper floor. Unlike the lower floor, it's not really a security risk. So we're just going to build our walkway over and we'll probably put another staircase in just to give them more um, ways in and out. Um, and you see how they get their little step stools out to build things on the second floor. I love the animations of them working on either the roofs or the, the walkways across. They're just really cute, like underneath. Going up on their, <laughs> yeah. their little step ladders. <laughs> Apparently Billy here doesn't care so much about sleeping. We can't see because we don't have our psychologist yet. Can we see, see why is he why is he in the in here? Right? Billy Brindley is a 70 wow he looks pretty good for 74. I'd say so. <laughs> With two children he's serving time in prison for bribery, blackmail, and dealing. Oh. Where was our inmate being searched? Was it you? I think yeah. That's... Um yeah he has unsatisfied needs because he's in cell confinement so he's not very happy. He didn't get a chance to go shower and stuff. And you'll notice there's no dormitories because cells are dormitories. If you go to bureaucracy and unlock uh, shared cells then you can either put two beds in a room, three beds, four beds, or you can put one bunk bed or two bunk beds. So maybe they can just um... chill out with their best friend. Maybe that would be. <laughs> that is true. And that's where the connections comes in. It's if you're doing shared cells, you really don't want to put two arch enemies in the same cell. What are you guys doing in here? Just chilling, having a good time. Oh. Can inmates sabotage utilities? Yes, I have watched in a riot as inmates head for the utilities and start banging on them. I just saw someone say they pre-ordered the warden's edition. If you did pre-order the warden's edition, this is the wallpaper in the game. This is the desk. You also get access to new the new wardens. They have different traits. 
they have something that, that they're better at, but then also something they're worse at. But here's our finances. We don't have valuation yet. I'd say we're, we're doing okay. Oh, we do have bureaucracy. So let's grab prisoner connections so we can actually see that. Yes. Though let's medical practice, honestly, would be what I would say was more important. No, but no, for no. the coolness factor, let's go with prisoner connections. Connections are more important than, than health. Oh, he's Richard good. here. He's exhausted. He's fallen. <laughs> <laughs> we need break rooms. Yeah, we. I think we do need break rooms. Well, let's go hire a psychologist. New staff hired. They're arriving. Uh-oh. Yeah, what do you mean insufficient offices? Oh, because their desk isn't <laughs> in there yet. Oh, well. They'll figure it out. By the time they get here on the bus, they'll probably have a da office. And there we go. Growing business. Staff count of 30. Oh, so we've got Everett here. Here's his connections. A lot Whoa. of acquaintances. Because he's just he's met everybody. Very talkative fellow, I guess. Oh, oh no. there we go. Matthew has an enemy of Gerber, his arch enemy. Negative Gerber's 77 mate as well. That's quite a lot. They're not liking each other at all. <laughs> no, they hung out together 13 hours ago and decided they were arch enemies. There we go. They're going to shower. They've got the toilet. And to anyone worried, yes, they do take off their clothes to shower. But there we go. We've scanned metal detectors. And so now we have a repeatable. So every 100 scans of an inmate with metal detector, we get another 300 XP and 600 cash. Real quick, what should we take next in preparation for our next stream? Should we go for shared cells? I think we should go for shared cells. Let's get a staff room, which that did give us a, another main contract and another one place four beds in a single cell. So we're gonna have to build a large cell for four beds. And in terms of new objects, we have bunk beds and they're all sitting here. The he food a looks very yummy. I mean, they eat the same food every day. It's like bangers and mash. I'm not sure what the orange is. Maybe that's orange chicken. Maybe <laughs> with the bangers and mash. Yeah. That'd be an interesting combination, but it's, it is British food. So. It's probably beans, I would say. They're too large <laughs> to be beans though. Like considering the size of the other food. No fork. No, they, they eat with their hands. I do find it funny though that if we go look at infamy <laughs> oh one of our inmates is actually infamous uh oh tucker here he's got connections with everybody tucker may who is a 64 year old male with no family he's serving time in prison for vandalism and he's infamous <laughs> what did he do he's just okay. having a good time he's just vibing <laughs> i mean he made gerber his arch enemy as soon as he got in the prison <laughs> he's like yeah I you I no <laughs> So I think we're going to yes. stop here until the next stream. That's going to be in two weeks time, April 4th, <laughs> which will be the same time for Europeans. But if you're an American, it's actually an hour earlier, Ooh. which is 7 a.m. Eastern time. Do you have any any last words for this time? I don't think so, though. Next time we will be checking out shared cells. So if you're curious on how that goes. Well, we'll tune see in. you then. Yeah, tune in then. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.